I think my expectations for the Indian market is we will learn and grow together with the Indian market exponentially. And I'll tell you why. India and News Republic were both born mobile. We don't have the legacy of PCs or, um, you know, we're both on the same frontier journey together. We're both learning together. So I think India being such a mobile first market and News Republic being a mobile first company will find synergies that will, we can, News Republic can learn from and deploy in other parts of the world. So I think you asked me why um, branded news apps would want to partner with News Republic and how we will encourage discoverability of our app and our content. We live in a world where there is no shortage of content. There is too much content, not too little. Um, we also live in a world where consumers are becoming hyper aware of the, um, the monetizing, of the value of their mind share. As mobile has shortened life uh, attention spans, uh, but mobile has also increased in appetite for news. More people are spending more time consuming news than ever before in the history of time. But they have gained an appetite for consuming news or content from a wide variety of sources. News Republic is not a competitor to mobile branded sites. What News Republic is, is a perfect complement. What we do through our user interface and our user experience is we showcase partner content just as beautifully as, or sometimes more beautifully, as readers would experience it on the actual branded website itself. We don't scrape content, we don't steal content, never have. The only content, unlike the only content we ever display on our site is, is content that is licensed, that we have agreements to share. Um, and then we ensure that the user experience of that content is brilliant. So we're not a competitor, we're complement. And what News Republic will allow our branded partners to do is have a two-way window with our readers and with the world. So Indian content partners, for instance, will now be easier to discover people outside of India in other countries that might want to follow an issue on how India is tackling climate change. Uh, Indian Express, uh, India today has huge brand equity. These are amazing publications, but they might be less well known in Mexico than they are in Mumbai. And um, so I think this is, there's a great synergy here and there's a win-win. Now in terms of media consumption, let's talk a little bit about how consumer media consumption is changing. In the old days, newspapers, this big, used to be read. <laughs> then we shrank down to the PC, then we shrank down to the tablet, then we shrank down to our phones, and now some people are shrinking down to wearables, which are about the size of this, um, about this size. Um, as that happens, um, what we're seeing today in the mobile world, in the mobile first world, is 70% of consumers around the world, we just did our news consumption survey, go to mobile websites, mobile websites, several times a day to get their news. Only 30% of people go to a television every day to get their news. Almost no one picks up a magazine anymore. And print in most markets other than India is languishing. So really, if you're not participating in a mobile space, um, you're not going to really be reaching your audiences. And secondly, by partnering with news um, syndicators like News Republic, branded news apps enhance the viewability and the discoverability of their own great articles. It, it's a win-win. We will, uh, we're already offering, we, we, we certainly are taking the English first approach because English is the working language and the connected, connective language of this subcontinent. Mm. But we do have content already on the site and we've just launched in Hindi and Marathi. And okay. I expect that to grow. It's very simple. Um, uh, and it's founded on respect respect for a robust ecosystem of content creators uh, and content publishers. We um, have a straight revenue share model. Whatever we monetize, we um, have you know, revenue share arrangements with every single partner. And we're very transparent about the numbers. Okay. That said, let's talk about one of the challenges of mobile, which is mobile monetization, whilst it's growing exponentially, is still nascent. From 2009 to 2014, mobile monetization grew, mobile, mobile ad revenue grew 4,500%. $19 billion today, that's a lot of money. But the bulk of that money is being, um, about 64% of that is being taken by five um, top news sites. Facebook takes, I think, a quarter of that revenue. As we get better at monetizing mobile, uh, mobile as the ad agencies get better at creating advertising for mobile, as we figure out whether subscription models will actually work, 
as people start to value content, um, rather than feeling like content is forced upon them, as people go back to wanting to go out and seek um, quality content, mobile monetization will solve itself. We have two great factors at play here. People are really interested in the news. News is sticky content. Everyone's interested in the news. Um, second thing that we have at play is we've got now news within arm's reach of desire on, on various websites. You put those two factors together, interest and availability, monetization will take care of itself. It's challenging right now, but it won't be. We're just figuring out what to do, not just us, everyone.